From isolation to virtual learning to dealing with illness, COVID-19 has had a lasting impact on our youngest generation. Pediatrician Dr. Michelle Bailey joins us to talk about the roller coaster that kids have been on for well over a year now. Dr. Bailey, what has this been like for them emotionally? One study by Canada Children's Hospital Foundations uh, reported that 70% of kids between the ages of 6 to 18 have said that the pandemic has affected their mental health in some way. Um, and the ways that, that, that they've reported are things like increasing anxiety, increasing isolation from their peers, and that can lead to depression, um, increased use of screen time, and uh, that can affect things like their ability to um, uh, pay attention and their attention span that they're finding is impacted, as well as um, um, other um, impacts on their general mental well-being. What are the things that parents should be looking out for when it comes to their mental the mental well-being of their kids during this time? Yeah, so some of the things that parents can notice is um, how well the child is interacting with the family on a regular basis, um, attending um, meal times, uh, conversations with families. Uh, are they withdrawn? Uh, are they isolating themselves in their room? Uh, are they irritable or more... Um, um, easily bothered than perhaps before. Um, and some of the things that parents can do is to really talk to their kids about how they're coping with the pandemic, um, trying to find some ways to um, uh, alleviate some of the pressures, um, getting outside, participating in physical activity. Uh, and as we're opening up schools and then hopefully soon other activities, really looking forward to and participating in, in ways that they can start to get reconnected to their uh, peers and their uh, social structures. People often worry about the development of their kids, whether it's socially, whether it's educational. Should they be worried about what this year, year and a half has done? Or should they be like, you know what, all of the kids are in the same boat? Yeah, it's a really good uh, question. Um, when we think about different age groups, I think the answer is a little bit different. So for younger children, uh, for those who've had developmental struggles uh, to date, uh, this has been a year of lost opportunities often for um, resource access for things like language development or physical development. And so for those families, I think there has been a uh, loss at times of being able to access those important uh, resources in a time period when children are young that a number of months, nine months of not accessing a resource could be really impactful. So for those families trying to look forward to how they can access resources to help their child move forward, hopefully now that things are opening up and are more accessible again. When we talk about school-age children, thankfully for those uh, who are developmentally appropriate and um, are um, doing well in school, we have some opportunities for those tickets to catch up over time because as you said, many children have been impacted by some of these losses of schooling opportunities or some of the um, areas of their development that might have and learning that might have been impacted. Um, teenagers, uh, we're starting to see certainly that impact for kids who are now looking at post-secondary education or what they're going to do for their uh, next steps of their career or getting a job. And uh, we are certainly very aware that for kids in that high school population, there have definitely been some challenges with completing all of their requirements and feeling ready for those next steps. Um, and, uh, you know, parents, again, can really try to support, help them make good choices and uh, find supports for them as they might not have needed that if they had had a youth usual school year, but trying to plan ahead and see if there's a way that those kids can be a little bit more supported as they transition is really important. Thanks so much for your time, Dr. Bailey.